Yo, what it do? Welcome back to another episode of Three Wands, where knowledge is given to you for you to turn into wisdom. I'm Lord Shu. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. If you're new to the channel, please like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe, because why wouldn't you? I'm Lord Shu. For all my returning subscribers, I got something in store for y'all, for the new people too. Got something in store for y'all coming soon. We're going to get through the rest of these universal laws in these next few episodes. And then we're going to start up into the noticeable pattern, which I cannot wait to talk to y'all about the noticeable pattern. It is very important. And I feel like all entrepreneurs and people who want to make changes in their personal lives to follow their goals should know about this pattern. So let's get into today's conversation. We are going to continue talking about the universal laws, the seven core universal laws. And today's universal law is the law of polarity. So I'm gonna pull out Hybrid Manual, which is my magazine that you can download for free on shoelovesrebels.com. If you wanna get a hard copy, you can order it from Amazon. Just type in Hybrid Manual, Lower Shoe, or you can go to my website, hbsxpopup.com, and you can order one from there directly from me. All of this information should be in the description box below. I'm gonna read about the law of polarity straight from the magazine. Everything is dual, everything has poles. Everything has its pair of opposites, like and unlike are the same. Opposites are identical in nature, but different in degree. Extremes meet, all truths are but half truths. All paradoxes may be reconciled. The Emerald Tablets of Thoth. So, what does that mean, Lord Shu? I don't get it. When times are good, times are bad. It was the best of times, it was the worst of times. Y'all y'all know who Foghorn Leghorn is? The chicken from the Looney Tunes, the, the big chicken. It was the best of times, it was the worst of times. You notice he says that in that same sentence. All truths are but half truths. If you got bad times, that means you've experienced good times, now it's time to experience the bad times. You will never have not both moments happening almost identically at the same time. It might seem like everything is all good, but deep in your conscious, know that there is negative things going on because at the same time, if, if good things are happening, bad things too are also happening, but in a very balanced way. And as long as you keep your thoughts like this, nothing will happen. There will always be centeredness. And that's what the law of polarity really means is being centered in the extremes. Some people lean super far right in politics. Some people lean super far left in politics. But imagine if there was a party that was just directly in between, that didn't, that almost gave people free reign and trusted in, in people's natural uh, instinct to be good. That party probably would never make it. <laughs> the law of polarity is staying balanced through the extremes not wavering when things get too good and not wavering when things get too bad. Because there'll always be that moment around the corner when things are too good, that something goes bad. And there's always that moment around the corner when things are too bad, they get too good. And then you get lost in, in the energies of them both. Never get lost in your achievements and your losses. Just stay centered and, and see what the real goal is, what the real vision is. The law of polarity will help you see the bigger picture and, and the overall scheme of things. Yeah, this is this will help the planet, but what's really going on here? This will help people out, but what's really going on here? The law of polarity is like seeing things from a bigger perspective. So now that I told you what the law of polarity is, I'm going to give you three things you can do to use the law of polarity in your everyday life. So number one, meditation, disconnection. When you close your eyes and you focus on your on your chest rising up and down and you just focus on on that only now you are not uh giving yourself to the different extremes oh i'm only connected to what's happening inside of this arena of silence and darkness nothing because at the end of the day that's really what is actually around us is nothing we are inside the illusion of each other's thoughts Number two, stoicism. Now, I want to uh, recommend a book to y'all today in this episode. This will probably be the first recommendation I do of a book other than my own. So I have this book called The Stoic Path. 
by Epictetus. And basically these are the sayings, golden sayings of Epictetus. He was a Stoic that taught Stoicism through his actions. And that's how all people in the world should be if they want to create communities. Instead of talking, show it through your actions. If you know that you're a musician, make music. If you know you're a poet, write poems. You know, pretty simple stuff. And the third thing is to practice seeing everyone as your opposite. So if someone is your friend, look at them as your enemy. I've actually done this a lot in my life. And people who are my enemies, I look at them as my friends. When you start to do that, your perspective on life completely changes. Because in the end, you, I just see them as humans. Humans that have made the mistake to not love me, and humans that have made the mistake to overly love me, instead of being centered in themselves. Love is love, so you really can't overlove someone, but you can have misguided love, and that's usually what dislike is or hate is, because you're not un you don't understand how you how to love that person, so you find something to say negative about them. I look at my friends as my enemies, and I look at my enemies as my friends, and this is for family members, people closest to me, friends, associate, doesn't matter. Every time I'm in a state of meditation, that is where I go. So these are the three things that I do, three things that you can use in your everyday life in regards to the law of polarity. So that's pretty much it for today's episode, y'all. I am Lord Shu. If you like this episode, please click the like button. Share it with somebody if you think it'll help them. Leave a comment. Let me know how I can make these videos better. And also subscribe to the channel, please. It's Lord Shu. Holla!